The various factors which can simultaneously affect a limited area of seabed contribute towards diversifying it from the surrounding areas. Different light exposures will notably change plant and animal populations living at the same depth. Underwater caves are a good illustration of how the light gradient regulates and changes the inhabitants. In the dimly lit gorges, at the entrance to underwater caves, in surroundings of great fascination and beauty, it is immediately noticeable that algae which are numerous on the outside tend to disappear progressively further into the cave, leaving the field animals such as colonies of red coral, the soft yellow axinalina, the plump orange cushions of the asteroid, and the amazing colors of the sponges in general. Mollusks are soft-bodied animals, most of which have a hard shell for protection. Sea slugs and gastropods, most familiar species being snails and slugs, move amongst these immobile components of the benthos, together with crustaceans and fish, which in the light of a diver's torch create an astonishing impression of being in a tropical aquarium. Close to the surface, where the environmental conditions are more variable than in other places, the population is more diversified. There are the calcareous encrusted algae, which can make huge spongy platforms inhabited by myriad drilling animals. Biological clocks make an appearance in more evolved species, such as limpets, which are surprisingly territorial in behavior and always return to their den. The shallowest but perennially underwater rocks are covered in dense vegetation made up of the light brown algae, however the different species occupy different and hydrodynamically differentiated environments. These floating forests are easy to explore with a snorkel and are inhabited by other algae encrustant worms, mollusks and crustaceans as well as numerous little fish. One species, the rock urchin, is covered during the day by algae or other debris, some of human origin, used in turn as a shield against the sun's rays. It's not unusual to find red starfish in the benthic area, as well as the smallest spingy starfish, less visible but interesting. Swimming along the seabed and looking carefully into the gorges, there are fish, often brightly coloured, to be seen in the holes dug by the mussels or urchins. The most common are the blennies, gobies and the strange rock-sucking fish with a sucker on its belly, allowing it to stick tenaciously to the rock in every position. Deeper down, you may encounter shoals of fish such as saddled bream or the golden striped salima grazing on the seabed algae which is their food. In late spring and summer the seasons transform the benthos too. Young damselfish can be seen sheltering under ridges at the mouth of the caves in their stunning, almost phosphorescent, electric blue livery colors, so different from that of the adults. The proximity of the seabed has imposed a certain lifestyle on these fish, and they have interwoven unusual relationships with their environment. The sight of a flying gunnard with its big blue spotted fins is ample reward for those who dare go deeper into the water. There you will also come across a bonanza of invertebrates. <laughs> <laughs> 